Meantime, police asking the public to help them fill in key gaps in the timeline the night that four students were stabbed to death as the investigation continues in Moscow, Idaho. Now, part of that timeline includes a party at a fraternity house where investigators believe Zana and Ethan were at some point before they returned home. Senior national correspondent Brian Inton is live in Moscow. And Brian, you spoke with the president of the Sigma Chi fraternity house. Yeah, Nicole, this was our very first time uh, speaking with the president of that fraternity. You know, they've really been under the microscope because we know two of the victims were at that fraternity house a short time uh, before the murders. The president says they are fully cooperating with the police. The flag is at half staff at the University of Idaho Sigma Chi fraternity house. The last place victims Anna Kernodal and Ethan Chapin were seen alive, according to police. For the first time, we are hearing from the fraternity's president. I knew them. Um, Ethan was always in our house. Anna was a good friend before you know Ethan even came up. Um, but that's all I really want to talk about right now because I actually have class here in like 15 minutes. Sigma Chi President Reed Offson says the fraternity is cooperating with the investigation. The fraternity is about half a block from the house where the murders happened. Does anyone know where they were during that timeline? Like there's still this big chunk where... Um, no as of right now, we've told Moscow PD, Idaho State Police and the FBI all we know. Um, we're kind of leaving it up to them to piece it together. Obviously, we don't have the utilities or... Uh, resources to do it on our own, so we're just putting full faith in uh, officers uh, and in the detectives doing it. Um, but that's all I'm doing right now. Are there any cameras around? Uh, not on the phone. Moscow police say they are investigating the time frame between 9 p.m. the night before the murders on November 12th and 1.45 a.m. when Ethan and Zana were believed to be at the Sigma Chi house. Meanwhile, detectives are not commenting on whether or not they are making significant progress in the case, only saying they have no suspects identified and will not release information at the risk of compromising the investigation. And we have learned that starting tomorrow, police will go into the house behind me, which is still a crime scene, and start removing some of the personal items that belong uh, to the victims. They say they want to return those items to the families. Nicole. All right, Brian, live there in Moscow. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.